Hello, Mel here starting off my first ever video Let's Play. Or, rather, redoing the first episode of my Let's Play. Fifth grade me immediately got into Age of Mythology when it came out. I'd never played an RTS before, so it was a new kind of game to me. As I played more, I realized that Age of Mythology was an unusually good RTS, despite being based on the genre's fairly generic formula. That's why I kept coming back to it over the years, and why I thought it would make a good first video Let's Play. I'll be showing off how to play through the campaign expertly on the highest difficulty. But first, I'm going to go through the tutorial to demonstrate the basics and learn how to make videos myself. Age of Mythology is a game of heroes and monsters, mighty armies and epic deeds. Lead your culture through the ages, from humble beginnings in a small village. There's Cersei, who will show up later on. Citadels protected by the power of the gods. Tear down the walls of Troy. Battle giants in the frozen wastes near Midgard, and fight armies of Anubites in the shifting. I've never been sure why Anubites became the game's iconic myth unit. The gods, as a token of appreciation, may someday reward you with great earth-changing powers in Age of Mythology. It's easy to see why Meteor became the game's iconic god power, though. Now here comes the first mission of the tutorial campaign. Today, your task is a simple one. The hero, Arkantos, has sailed to an island far from his home in Atlantis, seeking the Cyclops. The slaying of this mythical beast will bring great glory to Arkantos and his hunters. This game has many pretty and nicely choreographed cinematics in it. But before we take on the mythical creature, we must learn how to march. Left-click on Arkantos to select him. Atlas. Good. Now right-click near the blue flag to move along the path. This game uses fairly standard RTS Nick. controls. But in RTS is the if devil is in the details. Sure Minor differences next, in things like unit pathing can make a world banner. of difference in the ideal tactics Click that result. Athena is telling us about the subjective goal. banner now. There's a lot of useful information here. Hints about how to beat the chapter, sometimes tips about what units to use. Well done. Right -click the, ground near the, next flag to keep the spotlight the tab page. here is most often useful for finding out what units are recommended for the mission. Right now they're telling us that we can see stats down here and get more information by clicking on these portraits. I'll do more of that in future missions. For now, I'll just keep walking down this path. Here come the other Atlantean warriors. Drag a box around Arkantos and the other men. All of the hunters So again, are now standard RTS box selection. Continue down the path to the next flag. It is very important to note that units and groups move at the speed of the slowest person. This part of the island. So part of the, the speed decrease can be worth it for the ease of keeping them in formation. This is where the beasts scroll the screen up until you see the next flag. So these black areas you can see are unexplored. I don't know what the terrain is like there. In many RTSs, you only need to scout to find out where the enemy is, but in Age of Mythology you have to do so to find out where the resources are too, which makes scouting unusually important in multiplayer. In the campaign, of course, I already know where everything is. As an important Excellent. note, my forces Continue are always blue throughout the, the campaign. The, the enemies are red. Age of Mythology's pretty Next graphics have held up very well compared to other right games of its era. The, screen. This is the, mini -map. the mini map is very mini -map important to watch. It shows you where you are, and also places you haven't explored yet. Left clicking on the mini map will instantly move the view in the main game window. That's a very handy feature for looking around quickly. When you're ready, Continue down the path and seek out the Cyclops. Black areas are places I've never been and thus don't even know the terrain. The somewhat dark areas are places where I've been before but don't have anybody looking at right now. So there could be enemies hidden there, but I do know the terrain. And the bright areas are places I can currently see. Watching those bright spots on the minimap for red enemy dots will be my main way of detecting attacks before they actually reach me. Judging by all the corpses, the Cyclops is around here somewhere. I don't want to just run headlong into him, because I want to demonstrate something about how combat works in this game before he dies. Okay, I'll tell everybody to stand back out of their target acquisition range. I want to talk a little bit about stats now, although I'll save the details for later. Looking at the Cyclops, who you can see is red because he's an enemy, he has 600 hit points, 15 damage, 40% hack armor, and 50% pierce armor. Hack armor is all that matters right now. Let's compare it to Arcantos. Arcantos has 300 hit points, 9 damage, 50% and 50% armor. So you might think that Arcantos, if you attack the Cyclops, would deal 9 times 0.6 for armor reduction equals about 6 damage. But, as I will now demonstrate, that would not be at all correct. 
you can see he's actually hitting for about 40 damage per shot. That's because combat in this game relies heavily upon hidden damage multipliers, which they won't tell you about in detail anywhere. Some have been accurately posted online, others have had to test for myself. Understanding them is very important to playing the game well. And that's the first mission. I may redo the other tutorial missions in time, but this is the one that needed it most. Have a great day everyone!